hey loves welcome to my channel and welcome to another interesting video i hope you are doing well so as promised today we're looking at face care products for normal to dry dark skin in our last video we talked about uh, face care products for combination to oily skin and we agreed that today will be for normal to dry skin dark skin people okay so if you're watching me right now it means that you want to see this so let's jump right into the video okay so normal to dry dark skin people what exactly are we looking at here let me start with normal skin first off if you have normal skin your skin is perfect your skin is perfect though you have nothing worrying your skin you are just your skin is balanced you are not too dry and you're not too oily everything about your skin your pores everything is just minimized everything is just balanced so there is no more skin concerns that are you know common to this type of skin type your skin is perfect you just have to maintain that beauty by giving it lots of hydration and uh, nourishment okay so you have to use good skincare products to just keep the beauty going and you enjoy a very beautiful and healthy skin whereas if you have a dry skin it means that your skin is not producing enough moisture on its own like it's producing very little or no moisture at all on its own so it means that you should focus your attention on giving your skin a lot of moisture and hydration so that you can make up uh, with the lack of moisture that your skin does not uh, produce okay if that english makes sense so if you have dry skin it means that your skin is not producing enough moisture to keep it bouncy and youthful so what are the actual skin concerns that comes with dry skin people if you have dry skin and you don't properly take good care of your skin you can grow old easily it's just that simple like your skin doesn't produce moisture that should keep it you know bouncy that should make sure you don't get that fine lines or wrinkles prematurely so you need to put on so much moisture on your face so if you don't manage your dry skin very well you have a very high chance of you uh, producing fine lines mostly on your smile lines on um, on your cheeks where you smile you smile a lot you start having uh, fine lines here but if you had if you were producing enough oil on your face when you smile and your cheeks return back to normal it is hard for you to see those fine lines before your before you start aging okay but if you have a dry skin it will start appearing very easily and also on your forehead when you like frown or squeeze your face there's a very high chance of you having fine lines around this place uh before you start getting old like that old 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 you understand so premature aging is one thing that comes with uh people that have dry skin and also during the hamatan period or winter period for those in their abroad your skin can look really flaky like whitish like someone who doesn't have blood <laughs> running through their veins or blood circulating uh, in their face so your face can easily turn white and flaky like you are so unhealthy so these are the most common specific skin concerns that comes with dry skin so you need to manage it well so you don't look older than your age on time now what are the ingredients that we should be interested in when purchasing skincare products for our dry or normal skin so you need ingredients like hyaluronic acid uh, these ingredients will help to draw moisture it will help to draw water into your skin and also help your skin to to hold that moisture for at least some time okay so hyaluronic acid will give you that moisture and give you that plum uh, youthful look also glycerin is a very good ingredient you should look out for when you want to purchase your skincare products vitamin e is also very good it will help you with moisture so vitamin c will help us i have talked about this um, in my last video it will help us a lot with antioxidants that will help our skin collagen to keep doing its work very well you will also need peptides and ceramides that will help you to give you know that elastin to your skin barrier that way as you have a dry skin you don't give premature aging chance over your face okay you also need ingredients like polyhydrosy acid that helps to gently exfoliate your skin ingredients like lactic acid is also good and gentle if you have dry skin this uh, lactic acid and polyhydrosy acid will help to exfoliate your skin gently okay without uh, disrupting your skin barrier because if you have a dry skin it's easy to even mess up with your skin barrier if you're not careful with the kind of skincare products you are using so these ingredients there are a lot more trust me because more research are bringing more ingredients day by day but these are the common ones you can easily find so you can just look out for these skincare uh, products or ingredients sorry skincare ingredients that will help your skin to look and remain beautiful at least until you start actually aging okay so now that we have known uh, skincare ingredients to look out for when we have dry skin or normal skin 
it is now time to uh, talk about the uh, the products and also the routine too now products and routine the first step in every skincare routine is always to cleanse okay no skincare products again will work on a dirty skin or on a skin that wasn't properly washed so you need to cleanse your skin first off before we start applying every other skincare product that will help us to look beautiful so when it comes to cleansing for dry skin or normal skin the rule of thumb is always to double cleanse now what is double cleansing to even start with double cleansing is a process whereby you are using two different cleansers to uh, wash your face or to cleanse your face one the first uh, cleanser has to be an oil base it's more like an oil that is designed for you to use and melt away makeup especially if you have makeup on your face throughout the day uh, oil cleansers will help you to like lift it up to melt it so when you now uh, finish melting it with your hands and then you rinse it you still have some greasiness going on on your skin then you should use the second cleanser which has to be a hydrating cleanser a hydrating cleanser that can come in a gel form or in a creamy uh, in a creamy form then you can use that type of cleanser to now do the final cleansing this will also help you to effectively wash your face without disrupting or remove too much oil from your face rather you'll be giving your face enough moisture but still in your cleansing process so in order to make up and have a perfectly cleansed face because most times hydrating cleansers or uh, gel cleansers or cream cleansers doesn't do a really deep cleansing they still somehow leave some dirt on your face so in order to make up you will need to do two-step cleansing which is one using the oil to at least remove up to 70% of the dirt from your face and then the remaining tattoo will be done with your hydrating cleanser That way you are having a hundred percent cleansed face without removing Your oils or without even stripping your skin of so much moisture or drying your skin further I hope this makes sense because I don't know how else to explain this So rule of thumb is to double cleanse when it comes to dry skin or normal skin But if you cannot afford it or if you don't have money to buy different two cleansers it is still fine you can use just hydrating cleanser but you have to take your time and wash your face effectively okay now for for those that have money to do double cleansing the first thing you will do is to clean your face with oil cleanser and Palmas has a very good oil cleanser I'll leave picture here Palmas has a very good and effective oil cleanser that you can use and it's also very affordable so you can buy that and use that on your face especially the days you have makeup on or those heavy makeup on on your face you apply that on your face first massage it very well you know rub it in and then you rinse out with warm water not hot water or cold water use a warm water and then when you are done now generally for those that don't have money you should get yourself a good hydrating cleanser and that brings us to our second cleanser which is um the cereal v hydrating cleanser is a very gentle and it forms very very little in fact you won't even see much of a foam with this particular um, cleanser and that is why it is gentle and also it has ceramides that will help to give your your skin barrier that um elasticity that it needs to keep going on and not just ceramides this ceravi also has hyaluronic acid inside and all this put together will give you a perfectly cleansed face that will not strip your skin of so much moisture or dry your skin further so if you have money please buy the uh, palmas cleansing oil plus the ceravi hydrating uh, cleanser use them together but if you don't have money sweetheart just go for the hydrating cleanser you know start from there now that we are done with our cleansing process the next thing to do is to tune our face so after cleansing the next thing to do is to tune our face and trust me this process is really important if you are not especially if you are not double cleansing you will need to tune your face because this uh, this process will help us to remove dirt that are still left on our face that our gentle cleanser did not remove the toner i chose for this video will do three things for us one it will help us to remove dead that are still left on our face second it will help us to gentle exfoliate our skin and then lastly it will help us to hydrate rejuvenate and glow our skin and i chose this uh, bure hydrate and glow toner very perfect if you have normal to dry skin it has the right ingredients in the right proportion to give you that actual result that you see so get this toner is really affordable and also it gets the job done after toning the next thing that we're going to do is to apply 
our daycare serum. So daycare serum, in my words, I have already explained it or defined it in my last video. So I'm just going to touch briefly on it. Daycare serums are antioxidant serums that should protect your skin from harmful environmental uh, aggressors. And like I said in the last video that vitamin C remains the top of the top when it comes to antioxidants that will help to protect your skin. And I recommended in that video, I talked about a So Cuticle uh, Day Glow Serum. It's a very lovely serum. It's loaded that will give you that hydration and protection from environmental stressors. And also it is good for those with normal or dry skin. So I am also recommending it in this very video. If you have normal skin or dry skin and you need a vitamin C serum that you can use during the day, go for um, so cuticle vitamin c serum very good and effective it will give you that full protection and glow that you need okay but if you cannot afford this because trust me it's pretty on a very high price if you cannot afford it then you can go for the balance the uh, balance active formula it is also effective and it is affordable okay i'll leave all prices and pictures of all these uh, products on the screen so i recommend these two vitamin c serums please if you want to go cheaper bear it in mind that cheaper vitamin c serums are not effective like the cheaper it is the less effective is going to be and you will not get the best result so i recommend that or i advise that you should at least just save some money to help you get a very good and potent vitamin c that will give you the result that we are looking for okay still speaking of serums the next thing that we'll talk about is our night care serum. night care serums again in my terms are serums that you should use during the night that will help us to address a particular skin concern that we are having okay so this serum should contain at least one active ingredient that will help you to achieve a better skin that will help you to address that particular skin concern that you are having and for a dry skin person what do you need since our skin is dry it's starve of moisture it doesn't have that youthfulness so what do we need we need ingredients that will help us to achieve that youthfulness that we are lacking and for normal skin you still need a good uh, active ingredient in this serum that will also help you to give you that moisture because generally moisture is what you need every skin needs moisture for it to look healthy and glowy so i recommend getting a hyaluronic acid serum this serum is going to help you get that plumpness that youthfulness that glowy skin that dewy skin that well hydrated skin that you are looking for hyaluronic acid will help you to achieve this this ingredient draws water draws moisture into your skin and also help your skin to lock it to hold on to it that way you will have moisture going on on your skin that your skin will look so hydrated so dewy you know so healthy so i recommend hyaluronic acid uh, serum it gets the job done and it's also very easy to find unlike um, peptides or ceramide serum they are really really hard to find hyaluronic acid is easy to find and it is also very affordable unlike the red because there are other ingredients that will help you do this job but this one this hyaluronic acid is really easy to find and it is also affordable and it gets the job done as well so i recommend this nivea cellular hyaluronic acid is very very potent and it also comes in a small molecular form and the bigger molecular form so that means it has the ability to get into your skin to penetrate into your skin and give you results and also help you to take care of your outer layer of, of your skin so it plumbs your skin from within to the outer part of your skin and if you cannot afford this one or get this you can get the ordinary hyaluronic acid it's also very good i recommend this any of these two serums they are very effective and also easy to find okay so after our serums the next thing that we need to do is to apply our moisturizer and our moisturizer will help us to lock in uh, the moisture we have gotten so far from our toning our, our face treatment it will help us to like lock in all the moisture and also provide our face with more moisture and hydration and that we were having a very glowy and dewy face so I recommend this simple replenishing rich moisturizer is a very good one and also very affordable if you have normal to dry skin. I highly recommend this It's very very good and it has ingredients like glycerin which helps to hydrate the skin. It has uh, alatoin which smoothens the skin and it also has bisabol. Bisabol helps to moisturize the skin. So this uh, face lotion is a face lotion yes. This product will help us to smoothen our face, moisturize our face, and also hydrate our face. And trust me, these are all you need if you have dry skin or normal skin. So after moisturizing our face, the next thing that we'll talk about is our sunscreen. And sunscreen is non-negotiable. Even if you have the darkest melanin, you will need a sunscreen to protect your skin from getting old easily. I've talked a bit about this in my other video, so I won't talk much on this very one. But just know that you need a sunscreen even if you have the darkest, darkest shades of dark skin. Sunscreen is 
a necessity you will need it so it will help to protect your skin from getting old easily or losing its usefulness before you actually start getting old so i recommend this super group on sim spf 40 it's very very good and it won't leave any white cast on your skin if you can't afford this one then uh, nivea sun protect this nivea is also a very good option you can try it leaves no white cast on the skin but if you can afford this super group or nivea then the last option <laughs> would be bure water essence it leaves no white cast as well and it is also very like at least it's the most affordable one uh, among the three sunscreens okay so next up is lip balm we cannot hydrate our skin and we're all looking juicy and very dewy and beautiful and our skin is looking chapped no the skin on the lips needs to be moisturized and also nourished so i recommend uh, that you get a lip balm that suits your skin very well uh this nivea strawberry i recommend this if you have like a little bit of red lips going on on your lips then you should get this it will help to enhance the redness and also to moisturize your skin but if you have the dark lips i put a bomb with dark lips which is beautiful if you have a dark lips then you should get the nivea hydro care uh, lip balm it works well for those that have dark lips and you also have SPF 15 so it's like a bonus so this uh, lip balm will help you to nourish and moisturize your lips so now we have known all the products to use let me now arrange this thing in a way that you can easily follow it and understand like the whole routine how to follow it okay so for morning uh, skincare routine all you have to do is to wash your face with the hydrating cleanser and then after washing your face the next thing you do is to tune your face after tuning then you apply your vitamin c serum after your vitamin c serum you now apply your moisturizer and then your sunscreen then for night skincare routine what you have to do is to double cleanse that is if you're going to be double cleansing you now use the um the oil cleanser for that is the palm mask use that to um wash your face like put the oil on your face melt out any makeup you have after massaging then you rinse off with the warm water and then you go over to the um the hydrating cleanser which is CeraVe but if you don't have money to buy the oil cleanser then just start with the um, CeraVe you use that to wash your face very well and when you are done you rinse after rinsing then you tune your face with a beret and after tuning your face you now apply your hyaluronic acid depending on which one you want to go for either Nivea or the ordinary then after applying your hyaluronic acid then the next thing that you do is to apply your moisturizer please don't skip your lip balm please both morning and night apply your lip balm and then you achieve an overall healthy looking face and you will look beautiful and pink i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not for more skincare videos like this luchi cares bye guys